Hello YouTube, I'm the Caboose Gaming 117 here with a video on how to train the perfect Pokemon. I'm not going to go through the process, I'm just going to explain how you do it. It's a very complicated process, I wouldn't say complicated, it's a very long and irritating process. So, the first thing is, you're going to need the Pokemon that you want. And if you want the perfect Pokemon, you're going to need ad a Pokemon with adamant nature. The Everstone, Destiny Knot, Dittos, specific Dittos. I'm going to explain that in a second. And a lot of uh, fire, of Pokemon Flame Body. And you could help it out with by getting an old power by defeating or completing the Looker side quest. So we'll go through it. Okay, so the first thing is you have to retrieve the Everstone and the Destiny Knot. The Everstone and Destiny Knot can be achieved by going to these air um, locations. I'm sorry, I'm about to save. So the places you go are... One second. It is... I'm sorry, just say I'm done this wire. You go to um, Geosinge Town to get the, um, the Destiny Knot, or the Everstone I think. And to do this, you just go through here. I'm gonna fly real fast. Let me turn on my music. Oh, go this way. Head this way. Oh, sorry. It's my DS. I'm recording with the DS or 3DS. It's kind of bad. Sorry for the quality, by the way. It's I haven't been able to get a good camera. It's very expensive for me. So, we come here. And you talk to this person. She'll give you the Everstone. And... I forgot where to get the Destiny Nut, but... You can see it in other videos and look around. But this is all in one. So, the next thing you're gonna need... Is a Ditto. You can retrieve the Ditto by going to... Don't be mean to me if I Snow Bell City, and it, you you probably know the place because this is where you catch Mewtwo. This is where you battle the gym leader, and you have to find him first. So you come to here, and you go to the Pokemon Village that is through the forest. So if um, you follow this path, you shall find it. the The forest does go around, like change in different positions, like in areas. So if you get lost, it's it's okay. You can find it a way out. So sorry for this little, little detour. I went to the wrong way. Ugh. So go through here. This is the the windling forest or wind winding forest. I don't know how to pronounce that. Wrong area. So you're gonna have to take this path down here. This is also where you can evolve um, your Eevee into a Leafeon if you are um, wanting a Leafeon. I shall be doing a little thi video about how to evolve all the Eevees for those newcomers in this generation. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go, wait, this is the other way. You go here. I already battled these people. Go down there. Then there's going to be a giant tree. Follow this route. Go down. And then you should be at here, you see a road. Go to the following road, and you will be at the Pokemon Village. The Pokemon Village has a very, um, it's a very rare chance to find Ditto, but I found it easily. Um, Ditto's level range should be 30s to 45s, or 50s. So you can find him here. This is also where you find Mewtwo and Psychic, just to, to tell you. So now we're gonna... So now the next step is to go to the Pokemon tree, your Pokemon stuff, you're, you're probably going to find out soon. Go to the daycare person, give him a... Okay, so now I'm going to be very specific about this. With your ditto, you're going to go to... I'm sorry, I just went here on accident. You'd go with your ditto to this city. Um, Keyload City, or Keyload, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. So you go here, and now in the Pokemon Center, there's going to be a person. You're going to talk with this person, and he's going to be talking with you 
about your Pokemon stats. You want a Ditto with perf some perfect stats. So I'm gonna just put my Squirtle here because I wanted to breed it. It's been in the process. This per this Pokemon's potential is above average overall. That's how I judge it anyway. Incidentally, I would say that its greatest potential lies in its special attack. So that means we're good in special attack. I have uh, this Pokemon has some f um, fantastic stats. That's how I judge. So you come here with your Ditto. And it will say a different type, or it should say what a perfected type. If it says it's terrible in a certain area, I recommend not using the Ditto, because then it will make your other Pokemon stats um very bad. And I'm gonna explain what the Everstone and Destiny Knot are used for. The Destiny Knot is used for trading the Pokemon's IVs and stats. So if you put it on the Ditto, it will transfer its stats there, but it. The Everstone is to transfer its nature, so if you want Adamant, you would have to get an Adamant Pokemon and then breed it. If you find an Adamant Ditto, it's even better, because then you can unbreed it faster and it's a lot easier. So now, you go with your Ditto, and your Pokemon that you want. Make sure also the perk Pokemon you're breeding is good IVs so far, like you want you want at least a Squirtle or I'm imagining we're going to do a Charmander. You want a Charmander with at least one perfect IV stat. Special attack, defense, anything. Speed, HP. HP is the hardest one, I think, to get. Since it's so very rare to find in Pokemon. But there are even chances. So you go here. Get your Pokemon that you want. You're probably going to need a lot of money for this process since it goes around a lot. And you're going to have to use a lot new new bread to transfer the IVs. So you go to the lady. You give her Pokemon, every level they increase, it's another hundred dollars, and it's a hunt, and every hundred, you at the end, you'll have a hundred more to spend, so if I raise it twelve levels, it will, you'll have to pay one thousand three hundred dollars. So now, you're going to start running around. The perfect thing I did was, I figured out the system that if you ride your bike from here, and all the way here. And you go all the way back after waiting a second. The person will say his egg is ready for you. And you can tell if the person's egg is ready. Or the egg is ready for you. When he sees you. When he's looking in your direction. Or looking down the street. You can tell that he's not. Because then he'll turn back to the Pokemon daycare. As Oh I can't receive the egg. I'm just going to shun down the egg. No. Do you want me to do this? And now he's going to look back. So you keep repeating the process. So I'm going to explain it. You get Ditto. Well, we're, we're going to imagine that he has perfect IVs. H HP, special defense, special attack. And he is not adamant. Your Squirtle is adamant. Or Charmeleon's adamant. Or whatever. Charmander thing is adamant. You give the Everstone the Charmander. Ditto gets Destiny Knot. Ditto passes on the IVs to them, Charmander, and out of those five eggs that you should be hatching, because it's the fastest process, you should at have chances at least getting one. If you don't get one with those IVs that are breeded, you have to keep breeding until you get it, or it will not help have the IV. And to make this process to go faster, you need a Pokemon. You can use a Pokemon Flame Body. I have the Fletchling or Fletchler. Um, yeah, you can see his name. It has flame body. Somehow it makes it go faster. And it will work faster. So, it's really good. It's a very good process to do. And if you have O-Power hatching, it makes the process much faster and easier. It's going to be a lot of nerve-wracking. Because every time you um, do these eggs, you have to keep going to the guy in Kilo City and keep talking to him about it. And if he says the terrible, just get rid of it. Soon as you get perf almost perfect, you'll be ready. You just need the adamant nature, perfect IVs, and then you have the perfect Pokemon. I'm Caboose Gaming 117 guys. Thank you and see you guys next time. I hope this helped you. You can comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be on later. See ya.